hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon. And today I want to give you the reason why no follower of Jesus Christ that is a female should ever regard yourself as a diva. In fact, my friend, this is the very reason why many marriages are being destroyed because the sister or uh, any of us friends who do not have understanding, see the scriptures teach and all thy getting, get understanding. Friends, if you and I do not understand origins, if we don't understand the etymology, which means the true original meaning of a word, you will take this thing upon you and you begin, watch this, my friends, to walk out that thing. You begin to alienate yourself oftentimes and you don't even know it because remember names are very very important to God in fact when God was prepared to give Abraham the promise his name when he called him out of his kindred in the Ur of Chaldeans Abraham's original name was Abram and his wife's name was Sarai. But later when he began to walk with God, my friends, God changed his name from Abram to Abraham and Sarai to Sarah, which is, if think about it, my, my friend, it, 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 it's a big difference between a Sarai and a Sarah. Sarah sounds like Mm. Like, like, for instance, too, when Jesus changed Peter, his original name was Simon, which means pebble. It's small, it's insignificant. But then Jesus, before he ascended, he changed Peter's name to what? Peter. He went from Simon to Peter, Simon Peter. And Peter means Petra. It means rock. And upon this rock, he said, I'll build my church. And literally that word rock is really him, the Christ, because you can't build without the precious cornerstone, the Christ. But listen, my friends, my sisters, the word diva means devil. It means deity. It means goddess. And it is, my friend, this word is old. It comes from Egypt. These women regard, were regarded as divas, as goddesses. Follow me. Because the problem we're having is that many of you, it sounds, it sounds cute. It's far from cute, my friend. It's devilish. And you should denounce it. You should strip it. You should talk to your, your nieces, your nephews, your, excuse me, or your nieces, your granddaughters, your daughters, your aunties, anybody that you know who have placed this devilish, demonic title on themselves because the spirit of a diva is arrogant prideful. They're regarded as um, like prima donnas. I mean, let's look at the facts, my friend. Look how many of us, and some of us, we don't call ourselves divas, but we got the spirit of the diva. That's why our marriages is tore up because the female who has this diva spirit, uh, we talk about Jezebel, but honey, the spirit of the diva, it is she that is walking around with that hair, that 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 Raimi hair all down to your buttocks. It's that diva walking around with them fake eyelashes. Listen, I'm going to serve you notice. I love you, sisters. But if you wear fake eyelashes, you got the diva spirit. There is no reason whatsoever for you to have them fake eyelashes on. There's no reason, diva. Yeah, you got the spirit on you. Yeah, you do. And the diva is go wear her stilettos. Oh, yes, the diva is. Talk about, well, we should look feminine and beautiful. Friend, you don't need five-inch heel stilettos to be feminine and appropriately presentable as a woman of God. My friend, hey, come on now. Let's deal with the facts. The diva likes her yo yoga pants. Y'all the ones that was blowing up that video idea, that diva spirit in you. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing my spandex. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yes, it is, diva. You know what? You got...
got that spirit on you, friend. You resist holiness. You resist righteousness. You resist teachings that bring you into the straight and the narrow path. Why? Because the spirit of the diva is on you. And if that thing is not denounced and you are not, listen, friends, it's about to get hot outside and some of us need to go and comb our closet and strip down from all those tight fitted sundresses with all that breast and all that thigh. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's time to get rid of it because the diva will not make it to heaven. Oh, don't make no mistake, my friend. Don't make no mistake. And many of us, you... You calling yourself divine divas and divas for Christ? Are you kidding me? Friends, strip. You've been deceived because the spirit will follow that thing. That's why Jesus changed his name from Simon, that pebble to a stone, a Petra, because he wanted him to be reminded, you are strong. You are the one. I have chosen you. You are no longer insignificant. Not in this kingdom. You are Petra. Now you go call yourself a deep. So watch this, my friend. This is from Egypt. It, it's an Italian old word as well, which simply means God is deity or a divine one. People who have the diva spirit in you, you desire worship through your beauty. And oftentimes right now in this generation, the beauty is the booty. The women are lifting their backside up. That's why we see it in these spandex yoga pants. That's their God. They want attention. They want worship. And they want awe. Awe. Come on. That's why you wearing them tight clothes, precious, because that spirit is in you and you need to get quiet before the living Christ, quiet before the living God and repent and go find you some clothes to cover up that body while God, while you give God time to deal with your inner man. Because sisters, you ain't going to make it. Don't let nobody trick and deceive you. You stripping, you walking around in that nakedness. Why? You got the diva spirit. And no one has challenged most of us. You're going the wrong way. So that diva spirit also, my friend, it's like a serpent. Listen to me and follow me. The diva spirit is like a serpent. It's a charmer. See, when you got the diva, that's why you need those eyelashes. So you you can talk with them eyes. Come on. What's the point of eyelashes? Just admit it. I'm trying to be sexy. Eyelashes is promoting the sexy. How do I know? Because I'm Sister Sharon. Oh, I know the games that we play, sisters. But I'm telling you, you ain't going to make it. You will burn in hell fire, my friend. Your soul will torment you forever because God has been good to us. He has given us chances time and time again to put this stuff away. We have been swept away with this culture. The diva spirit has taken over not only America, but every church you will see, my friend, most churches, you see that spirit Friend, if you follow a woman who is, hey, call it what it is. She got all that painted on eyes. She got those eyelashes. She got them deep reds and purples and pinks on her lips. She got those long claw nails. She always got to be dressed up with all this jewelry. I mean, it's just gaudy and big and just, that's the diva spirit. Don't believe the hype. That ain't no prophetess. And and many of them are calling themselves prophetess. No, that's a devil. I'm going to say it again. That's a devil. A devil. Oh, yes, that's what it is. Devil, a diviner, a charmer, a seductress, a dainty one. That's Delilah, the the diva. Huh. Delilah, her name meant dainty one, a temptress. Come on, that's why you wear that false hair down to your buttocks, sis. Don't make no 
a mistake. Huh? Because you playing. You playing. Oh, yeah, you are. That's why you doing it. Because you you got that, you, you using that charm. But God's saying, if you planning on coming to heaven, you have to denounce it and go put some clothes on those hips. Oh, yes. Come on, divas. Strip. I seen a sister with a license plate. Diva. DVA 4 GD. Diva for God. You are deceived. It is this, this, this stuff here, friends. This, but that's what I'm here for. Our job is to enlighten you, to protect you, to show you where you are being deceived, my friend. Because if you do not understand, you and I must turn from sin. Jesus told that woman, go and sin no more. Jesus told that man who he healed, who had been lame for 38 years, he said, go and sin no more unless a worse thing come upon you. My friend, we got to deal with those teachings and those things that Jesus said. You got to turn, my friend. If you don't turn, you're going to regret it. You're going to regret it for eternity because God, my friend, as I close this exhortation, he does not have to allow any of us the opportunity to turn from sin and to honor the shed blood of Jesus Christ. And let me help you, my friend, as I do close. If you are dealing with mental torment and depression, night spirits, y'all know what I'm talking about. You can't focus on God. You're coming and going in and out. You make a, you say, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm coming closer to God. I'm, I want to get my life straight with God, but you can't seem to get it. Check my friend. Your stilettos. Check those false eyelashes you batten. Oh, my friend, is that's the diva spirit. Go on and check your tight low rider jeans. Go check them, precious. Check your yoga pants, your spandex, and all this. They got this new fashion where now the shoulder is cut out. So-called women of God wearing all this foolishness. Check it because my friend, God is not going to share his glory with you and I. You going to cover it up or you're going to perish. Your God is not going to compete with a diva. Devils all go to the same place. It's called hell. He is not going to strive with you, sister. What does it profit you to gain in men's all at you and lose your soul over some booty. You putting your soul on the line to showcase your booty, your breast, your thighs. You putting your soul on the line so someone can look into your beautiful light brown, brown eyes that you showcasing with them fake eyelashes. You would exchange your soul to walk around with your Italian imported 30 inch hair you would trade your eternal soul for one look at you in your yoga pants god help us all today wake up sisters it's not worth your soul beauty is vain but he he or she that fears the Lord shall be praised. My friends, wake up. The blood of Jesus still has power. And he's saying, come, let me gut you out. And let me build you from the inside out. Come on, that diva spirit with them big old earrings, the big old hoops, that's the diva spirit. Don't make no mistake. That's the diva. The diva likes everything big and gaudy. The diva takes her eye, eyeliner pencil and swing her eye out here. That's what the Egyptians did. That's what Jezebel did. She painted those eyes. Come on, sisters. It's time to strip. God said, I want to build you from the inside out. I love you, but I love my son more. And you continue to trample his blood in that vanity that is causing many to go 
into insanity because of your vanity, my friend, because you entertaining that diva spirit. I love you, my friend. Go and get quiet before the living God and repent and ask him. I knew a sister. She refused. The Holy Ghost told her what to do. She was a very attractive girl. She was in the beauty industry and she would not do what God told her. He told her to take all her weave out, take all the makeup off because he had to strip her. He wanted to sanctify her. He told her to put on some clothes. You don't have to, listen friend, when you really get instruction and you really get serious about this thing, you don't need nobody to teach you how to to, to dress up and, and cover up them hips and that booty. You don't need nobody to tell you how to cover up all that breast and, and, and cleavage. Come on. You know to get a pen and pin it. You know to get, huh, it's been many times since so Sharon go get extra material and put it right up here so that that, 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 because that's how they make everything. Whatever it take. This sister refused. She did it for maybe a month. She stripped. She took the hair off. She looked like a totally different person. <laughs> Because he wanted to sanctify her and get her confidence off of external, really, it's, it's God, it's idol worship. She couldn't stick it. And where is she now? That was years ago. Lost in the sauce. Miserable. Because she would not allow the Holy Ghost to sanctify her in her body. So you got to do, the, the Bible says, present our bodies as living sacrifice, friend. You have to present that body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. I went through it, friend, stripped everything, makeup, hair, nails, nothing, because you have to be sanctified. So there you have it denounce that diva spirit. Get rid of all that attire and all this adornment. Friend, that's the diva spirit, the goddess. Remember, it's a devil. It's a diviner. It's a charmer. That's what a diva is. And see, if you don't do your research, you'll put in diva and it'll bring it up as a singer, somebody that sings. Uh-uh. It's a devil. It's, a, it's, it's false god worship through beauty and charm. God bless you. I love you, my friend. Go make quiet time and go to your closet and start stripping. If you, listen, friend, I wore the same clothes for years. When God stripped me, didn't matter. I said, God, I want to live holy. I don't want to perish. I went to the thrift stores, find out the right attire, whatever it took. I wanted to be holy. And I wore the same black skirt with oversized shirts. I did this for years. I still dress that way, but I got more to work with. <laughs> Just a little bit more. Because so Sharon don't have much of nothing. I don't believe in none of that no more, friends. I've been delivered from this world. I got me a few nice pieces and I wear them. But God took me through that process, friend, where I was down to bare minimum of everything. And I didn't mind wearing the same black skirt. Kept it clean, changed my tops. I didn't care. I just don't want to perish. I don't want to go to hell. So come on, sisters. Come on, sisters. Come on, we going to do this together. Come on, we going to do this together. You ain't serious till you strip all that stuff off. You ain't serious till you take those eyelashes off. You ain't serious. You just kidding yourself, boo. You ain't serious till you throw out them stilettos. You a soldier. Soldiers don't wear stilettos. Do you understand that? You are a soldier, sister. I can't do battle in no four or five inch heels. All you gonna do is break your, your, your ankle, friend. If I'm in war and I'm in a sudden crisis, what can I, I can't work with those stilettos. I got too many enemies to walk in stilettos. Wake up. You ain't serious, boo, till you throw them spandex away. You ain't serious till you take them big old jumbo earrings out your ears. You ain't serious. You kidding yourself? All that hair weave and all this, these, this, this, these, uh, sh 
I'm talking about some of our lipstick. It's too much. You ain't serious. I love you, my friend. Till next time. And if you want some examples of modest attire, you can visit my website, my friend, because I have uploaded some. I mean, these are just samples. It's not how you 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 would dress, but it's some examples of modest apparel. Go to my website, Motivating You to Win, and click on Modest or Godly Apparel for Women. It shows you examples of what we should never wear and, and examples of attire we should be wearing to, to adorn the body properly. I'm not saying that has to become your style. I'm just giving you examples. And as I close, in hot weather... We are deceived about wearing all these uh, strapless, no arms, no friends. In the, in the summer, you wear linen. Linen is a biblical fabric. Friends, that's all I wear in the summer is linen. Linen keeps you cool. I don't wear, ain't no such thing as wearing spaghetti straps and that. That's out. No shorts. I ain't doing none of that. Why? Because I'm a woman of God. I'm representing my Lord. In the summer, three quarter, this is about as far as Sister Sharon going to about right here in a t-shirt. Cotton also keeps you cool. So you get you some linen tops, uh, uh, shirts that don't come too far. You ain't doing all that, showing all that flesh. You stay cooler just like they did in Jesus' day. Linen was a biblical material. And that's how they kept themselves cool in the day because you are you are covered and your body heat is not released. You're kept friends. I wear full linen in the summer and I'm I'm cool. I feel good. <laughs> I wouldn't have it no other way. Full long skirts or wide. I mean, for the most part, friends, the bottom line is you get you a couple of really nice linen skirts and some nice tunic type shirts, you're good. And you don't need a lot of clothes. You only need a few. We don't have time to keep hoarding, friends, because I'm trying to motivate you to win over this world so you can get in this mission field. God say, I need you, but I can't work with divas. A diva is dangerous. So come on, friends. It's time to go do your serious spring cleaning for real. I love you. Enough said. God bless you. Till next time. Visit the website. Get you some samples of modest apparel and have a yard sale, a garage sale. Some of you say you ain't got no money. Start taking pictures with your cell phone and put that stuff on eBay and get rid of all that. All them stilettos, get rid of all that. Get rid of it. Come on. Come on. I love you, my friend. Till next time.